to my channel. So in today's video, I'm doing this really cute look. It is for fall since today is actually the last day of summer, I believe, which isn't going to be posted on this day. It's probably going to be posted in about a week or two. So since it's going to be fall now, I just want to do this fall really glittery look. And this is it right here. It's like a half cut crease and Basically, the look is all matte except for the glitter and the crease. It's really coppery, which goes along with fall because leaves usually in fall turn like orange and stuff. It really goes well for fall. Then I do like a pinky orange lip color to go along with the whole look. So if you guys want to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so in this portion of the video, I'm going to basically be reviewing some products that I got from the Fenty Beauty line, which is the foundation and then one of the highlighters. I've already used the foundation a couple of times, so I kind of already formed a review on that, and I'll tell you guys throughout the video. I haven't used the highlighter at all, I just got it yesterday, so I'm going to be reviewing both of these products and hopefully it isn't too late for you guys because I know there is a lot of reviews already out on the Fenty Beauty line so hopefully you guys like my review as well as the other ones. This foundation is actually broken the whole pump and everything it's lifted up and every time I squeeze it out it's like as if you had a ketchup bottle and you're squeezing out the end of it so it's just like making that farting noise kind of it's kind of like that where it doesn't really squeeze out anything. When I was pushing down the pump, 
the foundation was coming out through here and just like seeping down. The shade I got is 230, which I was kind of scared about on mine, but I got an awesome shade. It really does match me, what I think. So, okay, let's actually get started. So I'm gonna be using the Too Faced Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Perfecting Primer. And I did use this primer the other day with the Too Faced um, with a Too Faced Peach foundation and it dried out my skin super 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 bad but I do want to use it so I'm gonna go in with some rose facial oil that I did use in my last video I feel like this foundation maybe has a white cast to it because it really looks white and I can see that in my viewfinder but it really makes me look white like a freaking ghost and in person it really doesn't so I feel like the brightness is making it look way brighter than it is I want to turn off my freaking ring light right now and see what it will look like without it in person I feel like the foundation actually looks darker than my skin it's a little weird. So I'm just gonna apply some Tarte Shape Up on top of that. Um, I'm kind of scared because almost every time I apply this on top of a matte foundation, either the Too Faced Peach Foundation or the Scenty one, it kind of starts looking super, super cakey because of the dryness and the matteness. So I'm just gonna try to apply a little bit just to carve out my eyeshadow as well. Were those gonna lift me up this time? You were the only one who got me tripping up inside. All the words you told me, and my reason something different from your eyes. See you for a moment, even I don't think I can feel you. So I just did the rest of my face basically off camera because I do the same thing like in every single video. So I just didn't want to repeat that. The next item I'll be reviewing is the Fenty Beauty Co-op Freestyle Highlight Duo. And this is gonna be in the Mean Money and Hustle Baby one. It's actually really, really, really hard to open. I don't know why. I've been watching reviews too, as you guys always know I watch reviews, but everybody's been really having a hard time to open it, and I was too, I still am right now, let's see. not freaking open it. So one side is supposed to be more subtle type of highlight and the other side is supposed to be the more blinding side. So I'm gonna apply Mean Money first, which is the more subtle side. I'm gonna go in with my regular highlighting brush that I use now like every single time I do my makeup, which is the AOA Studio highlighting brush. So we're gonna go in with this side right here. So you guys can obviously see that, and I do see it. It's really subtle. I like that. Just for a little glow, you know. And this you can honestly just use by itself. We're gonna go hustle baby on this side. So obviously both sides are really pigmented and blinding, but Hustle Baby is honestly more blinding. So I'm just going to apply some of Hustle Baby on top of me money. So the way I highlight my nose a lot is using a tinier brush, which I'm going to be using the AOA Studio E124 brush. And I'm going to mix the highlighters this time. So I'm just going to put a little tiny dot on the end of my nose. On the I am glowing a lot. And this one is going to be more of a gold highlight, which is why I got it, because I usually wear more of a gold highlight. I really do like this one. It does reflect a lot of gold, 
the light is just shining off so you can't really see as much gold as it would look like in person but yeah i really like it so this is honestly a 10 out of 10 for me and the foundation honestly looks so good the only problem with the foundation really is that it settles into your fine lines a lot so i smile a lot so my smile lines are really badly like indented so a lot of the time foundation settles into the line after maybe like three four hours and then i just pat it away but this foundation kind of instantly goes into those lines but the rest of my face like it honestly looks really good I don't know, my face feels really soft but yeah it looks really good to me so i'm just gonna go off camera put my eyelashes on and then i'll come back and finish the video Okay, so I am done getting ready. I love both of the products and I really love the packaging. The packaging is one of the best parts of it. It makes it look so luxurious and pretty. So I really, really love the Fenty Beauty line products that I've tried myself. So yeah, that's basically all for this video. If you guys did like it, then please leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You guys know I have a giveaway going on right now. Go enter in. The only thing you really have to do is subscribe. Subscribing and telling me, commenting on one of my videos telling me you are subscribed is the first way to enter. If you want any extra entries, then you go ahead and follow me on any of my social medias. I usually have them listed down in the description box down below after all the words and stuff at the very, very end. So yeah, you guys can go do all that. Hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you guys are. Bye.